joined by Kate Teska, and Kate is a spokesperson for Mahi for Ukraine. Kate, lovely to have you back with us. Welcome to the platform again. Good morning, Sean. Thank you for having me. Um, really good news in the last couple of days. The government has made it a little easier for people um, fleeing the war or who have fled the war to get residency in this country. Absolutely. That is um, amazing news. Long awaited. We have long advocated for this and the day has finally come. Um, so the special visa, obviously, as you know, was a great initial step to provide immediate support to families and children fleeing the war. But now the Ukrainians have settled in New Zealand. They have been longing for certainty and it's hard because they come bearing the scars of war and it's hard for them to imagine their future and what that holds. So this resident pathway is going to go a long way to alleviate those concerns. Mm. And um, the Ukrainians can finally bring the sign of relief. Okay, so how does this work for people already here? And I under it goes, the special Ukraine visa, uh, visa um, has been extended to the 15th of March 2024 and Ukrainians with close relatives who were New Zealand citizens or residents can come and shelter here for two years, right? That's right. So the special visa essentially was the work visa, a yeah. two-year work visa, and only available for the families, immediate families of um, Ukrainian citizens or New Zealand citizens or residents who have Ukrainian heritage. Now, um, with this uh, residency pathway, it is only available now to those Ukrainians on the Ukraine special visa. So it doesn't extend to any other Ukrainians on um, other temporary visa types who may have come since the war started under different circumstances who potentially didn't have eligible sponsors living in New Zealand. So if you are a Ukraine special visa holder and you are in New Zealand um, as of midnight of March, 20, uh, March 15, 2024, you can apply for residency. Now it only applies to those who are in New Zealand and those who are in New Zealand as of um, March next year, which is when the category closes. Mm. Meantime, Kate, how many people are coming in and how many people are already here? So from what we know um, of the recent stats, and these are not exact, but approximate sets of the last two weeks, um, over 1,500 special Ukraine visas have been granted. Um, over 700 Ukrainians have arrived into New Zealand since, but currently only around 340 um, are remaining in New Zealand. Okay, so we're not, you're not swamping us. You're not, it's not like a great wave of people from Ukraine fleeing to get out. No. What? So what are you hearing back from Ukraine? Are things improving or is it more possible to see hope there or normality there? Um, well, look, there's different stories coming out of Ukraine. Obviously, as you know, um, counter-offensive is ongoing, but still um, in the same uh, sentence we've got daily bombings. We have um, various civilian infrastructure being targeted people um, being killed on a daily basis almost. And um, with that in mind, obviously, as you know, there's millions of Ukrainians displaced all around the world, um, another six million or so displaced internally. So it really varies for um, different people who live in different areas. But still, the polls coming out of Ukraine state that Ukrainians believe in Ukraine's victory. The Ukrainians, um, and, and it's majority of Ukrainians, over 90% of Ukrainians, um, firmly stand by that and um, united and supporting Ukraine to its victory.